All right, welcome back everyone. In my last video, I introduced the pinhole hack. So here is the lifestyle home series. This one has a little hole right here. If you wanna find out what that is ahead of time. And then this one has a little pinhole right here. But I am not gonna spoil it for us. I am going to just open them up as is and just be excited about what I get. Got a little stuck there. There we go. Okay, first one. And we got a Just Add Flowers uh, mini pot. This one, when I open it up, oh, it's filled with like this little packing paper to keep it safe like it's glass and it's this little rainbow. Very pretty. And of course with these ones, they become a shelf. So you'll see that after I finish getting all the items. Oh, and then here are the pretty flowers we got. So these ones are actually flocked, so they have like this felt texture on the outside. And we've got water. So this is a flower pot. And then here are the stand pieces and the tweezers. So the stand works a little bit differently from the home uh, from the original lifestyle series, but you click these into place so that they look like this. Okay, that one popped into place. And then it sits on that. It doesn't have a internal shelf because it is a bit smaller which is not a big deal. Um, but then the ones for like the bird houses and the bird feeders have a little hook on the inside so you can hang something in there. That's why I have my bird feeder on this one, my bird house on this one. You just have to make sure the cord isn't too long because my cord is a bit long and doesn't hang quite right. So when I open up our menu of creations, this one is the poppies, right up at the top. And the instructions are pretty simple. They say to cut the flowers shorter, fill the vase about uh, half full with water, and then add the flowers and cure five to 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. I love how they come wrapped in this little paper. Very cute, like a real bouquet of flowers. And when I, they're taped in here, so you have to be very careful to remove them. Okay, and then they come with two One's more of a pinkish, one is more of an orangey color. Zoom in for you. Okay. So they tell you to cut them shorter, um, probably because the vase is really kind of short and if you leave them, they'll hang out like that. So you just take your scissors, cut a bit off the end. like that. And then when you stick them back in, they fit a little bit better in the pot. Ooh, they don't want to stay in there though, that's for sure. That's what the resin's for. Alright, so I think I'm going to do something like that. Okay, I need to keep that in mind when I do it. 
open up my water and pour it in the vase. Okay, and they said only about half full. I want to make sure there's enough in there to keep them sitting upright. And then I'm going to stick my flowers in the vase the way I want them, kind of like that. Very cute. Okay, I love that. I'm going to cure that, put it under my UV light. Very satisfied with how that was turning out, so I just want to be very quick about curing it. Okay, extra water, tweezers for later, things to keep. All right, then we've got our second one. I'm gonna open this one up. Where's the tear strip? There it is. Second wrapping. I'm really hoping to eventually get like the hanging pothos and the hummingbird feeder. That one's my favorite. I really want the hummingbird feeder. Okay, I'm going to open this up, dump it out. I didn't get a hanging one. There's no hook on the top of this, which is fine. There's my shelf. I got two pots. I'm kind of thinking this might be the Palea pair. I think that one's the only one that gets two. Ah, the box is really stuck, so I'm going to rip it. Okay. And they're really stuck in the box, too. There. That was hard. All right. This one is the plants. We did get two paleas. I have a watermelon palea at home, so they, they have, like, stripes on them to show that they look like watermelon leaves. A little tray for the plants. This one is the shelf legs, our tool. So we get the tweezers and the shovel. And then our last bag. is the soil. Okay, I don't think I have any more open soil bags. Nope. So I will use this one. It says it's perlite. Uh, a perlite mix, it looks like. The bag's a little bit closed, weird. But it says you grow and you are so indoorable and then plant parrot approved. Go ahead and open this bag up. Ooh, it's got some rocks mixed into the soil. Very cool. Let's go ahead and look at the direction sheet. So the play appears right here. And when you flip it over, it shows that all you gotta do is put the perlite potting mix in the pots um, almost all the way to the top and then add your plants. As I said in my last video, I prefer to make sure my plants are never coming out of the pot again because they're for decoration. So this one I resined in. I used some fish water um, to make sure it doesn't come out. legs to my stand. I 
are kind of hard to push in. So first step is to add the soil. It is like a soil mixture, but it does have the little white like perlite pebbles in it. I'm gonna put that in the first pot. Push it down nice and deep into the pot. Add another clump to this one. zoom in for you guys. Sometimes it's easier to do it with your hands rather than the little shovel because the, the soil kind of sticks to the shovel so I've noticed that it can be difficult like it's helpful when it sticks to it coming out of the bag but then when I want it to be pushed into the pot I prefer if it doesn't stick then it just pulls it right back out. A little bit more in each. Split this between them. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the shovel to kind of poke a hole in the middle. Push it around so the dirt goes out towards the outside edges. Same here. And then I'm going to stick the plants in the soil. They don't want to stay really. This is what I've noticed is that they like to, they kind of just float around in the dirt. They don't like stay in the dirt. I think what I might do is add some more soil, but I'll put it in. I won't pack it in, leave it kind of loose, and then use the roots of the plant to kind of dig a hole for it. But then this is what happens, is like the this plant does not want to stay in there. The soil doesn't cling to the roots like a normal plant would. I'm going to try the same thing here. Dig a hole with the plant roots, push it in nice and solid. And then because they don't want to stay in the pots, I use some water resin. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put some in the pot before the plant goes in. And then stick the plant in. Let that kind of sit. Same thing here. Add some water resin. Add the plant. Kind of overflows a little bit when you do that, which is fine. I don't want um, the plant to ever come out again, so I kind of want that soil to stay in there too. I want it to overflow a bit onto the soil. Oh, pollen's really falling over. Okay. Kind of go like that. And then... Extra soil, definitely going to keep that. 
for later. This shovel is kind of covered in dirt, so I'm probably not going to keep it. Tweezers are just fine. And then let these finish up. So in my last video, I did the Monstera plant. And now I get to add these beautiful poppies to my collection. And then give it just a minute to make sure those cured into place. Yeah, and not moving. Just that one there. Put the other one right over here. All right, so there's our finished product. We've got the Palea pear, the poppies, and then from my last video, the Monstera, I just added it for fun. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye!